what's up guys it's your boy jay soul and i'm back with another video uh, this video is going to be on how to set up a a temporary server with uh, vulture.com all right these are, are hourly servers you pay by the hour which is pretty good if you don't want to get a monthly server where you you know paying for the whole month when you're only really going to use it when a when a shoe or sneaker is going to drop so here you go after you sign up for vulture you get a kind of like a screen like this and then it say servers or whatever and you want to hit this plus thing right here deploy a new server all right they have dedicated instances and compute instances so uh, dedicated instances though you only have two locations you can use and compute inst instances you have multiple locations all right so for the sake of this video we'll do a compute instance and we will look uh, we'll get one in Los Angeles right remember guys you want to use Windows you want a Windows server so that way you can download whatever your bot is and whatever you're gonna run on it okay uh, as you can see the prices are pretty good so the highest one they have is a CPU uh, 16 um, gigabytes of RAM memory and uh, that's the bandwidth all right so it's pretty much uh 23 24 cents an hour which is not bad uh usually i'll i'll probably uh start the server a few hours before release and just set everything up and then uh, wait for the release okay so all right we got a compute instance in los angeles we want a windows i um operating system and we're going to choose this one right here and I always enable IPv6. If you don't know what that is, you can uh, look it up and and uh, and do your research on that. So we're gonna call this test, okay? And just hit deploy now. All right. So now the the server is installing. This might take up to a couple minutes. So I'm gonna stop the video here. And as soon as it installs, we'll we'll take off from there. Right, so the the server finally uh, installed. Uh, took a couple minutes. Actually, uh, it probably took less than that. But I had to step away real quick and I came back. But anyway, so our ser our server's installed. It's in Los Angeles. All right, we're gonna click manage. And right here, you have your username, your IP address, your password, and uh, and all that stuff. Okay. So there's two ways you can do this to access your server. You can actually go to remote desktop connection right here. Let's copy and paste this. Boom. Put it right here. Uh, connect. It'll come up to this. Well, actually, that can't be right. Let me cancel that. Sorry about that. Go to options, username, type in administrator or copy and paste like I'm going to do. Boom. Connect. And right, I'm gonna copy the password. Paste it here. Alright. So a remote desktop connection is ready. I'm gonna put don't ask me again for connection to this computer so that way you don't have to keep getting this screen every time you access it and hit yes. So right now we're remote connecting to our server from Vulture. All right, the best way to do it is remote connection because you can actually drag and paste stuff. So like, uh, I'll show that in a second. But first thing you want to do, you want to add roles and features. Okay, installation type. You want to go to serv server selection. Hit next. Uh, skip that. And you want to um, you want to download Net Framework 3.5 features. All right, you need to do this to run your bots. You Got to down that download that. Hit next and install. So while that's installing, we're gonna go ahead and go to local server, which is right here. You wanna hit that. And IE enhanced security configuration, you wanna turn this off. If you do not turn this off, you won't be able to to uh to access the internet browser. And I'll show you what I mean. See it's it's on right now. Internet Explorer. 
frequency is enabled. So you're gonna have that. So in order to bypass that, you're just gonna turn this off. You can just turn it off for administrators. I usually just do both users and administrators. All right, so that's on. Now I'm gonna minimize this because our net framework is probably still downloading somewhere in here. So we'll minimize that, okay? So right now our server is actually set up. We could download our bots right now. So if you had the link for your bot, you will put it right here, boom, and uh, and download it, you know, pretty much the same way you would do it to your computer and then activate it with your key, with your activation key. And one thing though, before you destroy the server or terminate your, your server, make sure you deactivate. I'm gonna say it again, make sure you deactivate your bot before you cancel the server. Because if not, you're gonna have to contact your your bot um, provider or developer, whoever it is, and ask them to reset your activations. But anyway, let's do a, uh, a Ookla speed test on this. Usually you should get something like in the 800s or at least 700 and above. You have a server. If not, you might want to consider a different server. And it all depends too on the times of days and stuff like that, I guess. <clears throat> Okay, so this is the speed test. The download speed is uh, 763, which is not bad, but I've seen higher in this in the on these servers. And the upload is 375. Yeah, that's that's not optimal. I don't like that. But just for the sake of the video, just showing you uh, the different uh, the, the, the how to set up these servers. So I usually don't go with a server in Los Angeles. I usually go with something in New York or something like that. Just so I find the best uh, connection. But anyway, so let's see. You can hit this right here. It's the command prompt. Let's ping Nike and see what the ping speed is on this. So ping store.nike.com. All right. Minimum, maximum, average. That's pretty good for Nike. And uh, like I said, you could just try different locations, different servers, and do pings with Foot Locker and all kinds of sites, and find which best, which is the best to use. Yeah, guys. So that's pretty much it. Um, let me show you how to terminate the the server once you're done. Let's exit this out. Well, before we exit out, just see everything has. The net frame work 3.5 installed so you're ready to use bots if you had to or if you were going to x that out let's minimize this we're back here on, on the vulture website okay so we're gonna go here in order to terminate the server once you're done the release is done you copped or you didn't cop or whatever happened you're gonna go you're gonna go to server details I mean, excuse me, you're just going to go hit server destroy. Hey, once again, before you hit this, make sure you deactivate your bots. If not, you're going to have a problem. You're going to have to contact your, your bot developer and ask them to reset your activations. All right, so server destroy. Hit yes to confirm. Okay, it's destroying. This might take a minute or two, so I'm gonna edit this and come back when it's destroyed. Destroyed, and uh, I'll, you you'll get you'll stop being charged for the server. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's how you set up a server using Vulture. Again, you can do choose whatever location you want to choose. Uh, hey, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Um, if you if you appreciate what I'm doing, I'm putting out some some real big videos that I think is gonna help a lot of people out there. Also, you guys, uh, if you want, if you're looking for a uh, add to cart service, please check out my website easycart23.net. Um, I do Supreme and I do sneaker drops for pretty much all foot sites, and sometimes I do Nike.com too. Uh, the next big one we're gonna do is the Air Jordan 8 CNC pack. Yeah, so check it out, easycart23.net. Alright guys, uh, 
I, leave, I left some links in the description to Vulture and, and, and the proxies that I'm using and bots and stuff like that. Hit those if you want to do your research or if you're looking to buy a bot or get proxies. And uh, that's pretty much it, man. I'll see you next video. Thank you. Bye.